Okay, this is the start of how to carve letters. You've got your paper template, you transfer it with carbon paper. Underneath, it's quite useful to tape it just on one side, so you can always go back if, if something doesn't show. Now we have transferred this, these very straight ones, you can mark like this. And now it's important not to overshoot because whatever you overshoot, you will see on the stone. And you just mark it like this. Make sure you have good glasses. And that's why it's actually quite good to overshoot when you, when you mark it with a carbon paper because you know where the start is. Yeah. And I finish this corner to corner. And it's also quite useful to have a, a little brush or a, uh, just, you know, if you have an old brush from painting, bring that in. Blowing is never really good because you blow up a lot of dust into the air, but this is now a good starting point. When it comes to this, I do it with two hands. So you hold your, your marker like that, gives you better control, yeah? And you I, I kind of press it with a thumb in order to, to get a bit of pressure on it. And you just try to follow this line in one go. So this marking is really important because it prevents the stone from splitting at this edge. You will, and then I finish it top to bottom. And the reason why you do this is also to get a bit more individuality into your letters. Now, chisel. This is quite a good starting point, the five mil chisel. Should be sharp. Could I get one of those little hammers? Okay. Now, this is not an, I, I like, don't like doing this while sitting. I like to kind of stand and, but I, for, 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 you know, showing it, this should be good enough. But you need to be able, you usually try to position yourself that you're standing and, and your carving position is quite low. So don't have it too high, don't have it too close to your nose, yeah? You need your arms to be able to kind of move quite freely, unlike I now. So, how do you start this? So, the first thing is you hit the chisels initially with the side, not with the front, yeah? This makes a bit of a softer touch, gives it a little bit of a swing, yeah? So, so you hold it like this, and I hold my chisels like this, yeah? You can hold it like this, but I, the classic stonemason grip for letter cutting is this, because you have far, far better control, yeah? It will hurt in the beginning, but you get used to it. If it's too painful, I actually wrap my little finger around it so I can almost hold a chisel just like this. I do that when I have slightly thicker chisels, but on very precise stuff, I hold it like this, yeah? Now, how do we start? What you need to do is you want all this one out, but you want to have basically a middle groove. We want to carve a V-shape here, yeah? So you want the V-shape joining in both sides. So what, you, what you're gonna do is, first you secure both ends. You hold your chisel and you go at a 45 degree angle and you don't start right at the end. Go a little bit inside to start with. Don't push it too hard because it might break off. Might be good to have a, uh, and the nice thing you have a little a little, a very little piece to work from. You can swivel it around. And it's always good to, to do it from both sides. Now, the important thing is to get the material out first. So you attack this, it would be good to have a slightly wider chisel now, but I do it anyhow. You stay away from your edge, so that one or two, one mil in, 
and you go flat with your chisel. And this is a really nice job. You can listen to some nice music. You need to be sort of feel comfortable about this. And then you do the same from the other side. Stay away from your marked line. You can do this, it would be better to do this with a slightly wider chisel. If you have a wider chisel in your set, use that. And always switch sides, yeah? So we go again from the other side. This is only to get the material out. This is not the final carving direction. All what we want is to get the material out in the middle. But we orientate ourselves already into this middle groove. Now we switch operations to a 45 degree operating angle. So now, we don't go flat, we go at an angle, yeah? And now we can sort of go quite close to the edge. And we cut along. Still staying a little bit away from your scratched area, from your scratched edge. And then we go from the other side. to sort of find your rhythm here and make sure that you always work towards the middle and then it's important to change direction so when you work in this direction you need to work in this direction on the same side yeah and it's really easy because you've got this really nice small slab going to the corner And now I'm pushing it further out. Pretty much close to. Can we put this away? It's easier. And here again, into the corner. Could do with some new glasses, really. You're lucky, this is such a nice, precise, you can work very precise in this red sandstone, it's super fine sandstone. I think this is probably one of the best quality sandstone I've ever worked with. Usually it can be quite rough and it's usually used for general material, building materials, but this sandstone from China, this is from China, it's really fantastic. I could do with them. So this takes a while and you can also continue to kind of drive in your end, your end. And here you need to swing the chisels a bit like this, yeah? Other end. Mm -hmm. 
So I'm just going to finish one end now, otherwise it takes too long and I don't want to. So you drive your chisel in at the 45 degree angle. Change direction. Can we have a brush? Is there a brush available somewhere? A tiny little brush. Excellent. Thank you. Oh yeah, I need new glasses. You really need top eyesight for this. So you need at the end. You might have to go and sharpen your chisel, but you really need to kind of get all the way down to your marked edge. And then at, at the end, when you're almost finished, you drive it into the corner like this. Because you wanna, you wanna have your corners nice and sharp, yeah? So not from here, but into it, but only at the very end. You drive your chisel into the corner. And at the, at just, I mean, this is pretty good now. At the end, you can also sort of just straighten the bottom a little bit, very slightly. Okay, so this, this end is done, yeah? Can we stop?